I just wanted to make a quick video to show off a couple of new features that we added to Tac GM over the past couple of weeks. Uh, we added in a couple of new actors with various functionalities, as well as a new method of viewing to go in tandem with the video pushing discussed in the previous video. So as we come down here, you'll see that we added an IED. So this landmine, whenever an actor steps onto it, will destroy a randomized amount of actors within it, the vicinity of its hitbox. And the reason it does a random amount is to try and simulate how in real life when a mine goes off, it wouldn't necessarily destroy everything in its radius. It would depend on how much and where the shrapnel strikes you. So we'll run something into it and see how it kind of works. So it happened to destroy two, even though there was four to five things within its possible hit radius. And then, in addition, we added a binoculars view to the soldier that represents the person moving around in ATAC in real life. So we'll send them off over here in this direction and just swap the feed so you can see how it looks. So players out in the field that don't have access to TACGM will still be able to see this current view on their device at all times through the use of the video pushing out to OBS and so then through WinTAC or ATAC. And then finally, let's swap back here. And we added in a bit of functionality to change things up. Typically so far, we've only focused on the military sim side of things. But with this binoculars feed that we added in, we thought that it might be simple and suitable to add in foliage and fauna options. So that in the future, if people ever wanted to use this app for hunting simulations rather than militarial purposes, it could also be used for that pretty easily by having somebody use things like the drone or the binoculars feed on their personal device out in the field in order to ensure that they're more ethical and efficient hunters before they go out to do it on real animals. And that's everything that we've added recently. And we're still currently working on updating the stand-ins location based on somebody moving in real life. So that's most likely what you'll see a video on next.